Today's the day, boys. We are freaking outside right now. The WRX is like 95% done. But we get to take her on our first drive today. This thing kind of does smell like something's burning right now. It could be just all of the grease from the CV boot on the headers. Or not on the headers, on the up pipe. But we'll see. This car's stinky. The only thing that we have not swapped out yet is we still have the cold air intake in it. We did not take it out and put the stock intake back in yet. I'm just too excited right now and I want to take her for her first drive first. Before we take this thing out and start bagging the shit out of it and sliding it around, I'm going to take it out to the highway. I got insurance on it. I got registration on it finally. So we're going to take it out to the highway, see if for one, these wheels that I put on are balanced or if they're bent or anything, see if the wheel shakes on the highway. Make sure our signal lights work and everything from the clock spring I replaced because they wouldn't cancel themselves out when you turn corners before. And just make sure everything's good on the car. Make sure the brakes are good, that right front axle we put in, make sure the engine's running good because we just put new head gaskets in this thing. But if you guys were watching the build series, you would already know that. This could be the best beater ever. The other thing I don't like on the interior of this car is this freaking head unit, but that's gonna be going soon. And the check engine light's on, obviously, because we do not have our AFR sensor plugged in right now. So I'm gonna hit up Micah and see if he has a spare AFR sensor. And I think he was telling me he needed a dash. So I still have that second spare dash for this thing. I might trade him. Oh, these coils are gonna be rough. Hey, I think the steering wheel's straight though. Oh, it's maybe one tooth off. Or it just needs an alignment, one of the two. Something is rubbing on the right here so hard, or on the left side. I don't know what's going on. If that's just rocks, or my side skirt fell off or something. That's gotta be rocks. I'm gonna get out and check before we get on the highway. Side skirt's still on there. Mud flap's still there. Is anything rubbing underneath the car? No, I'm so confused. Oh, and I still have a boost gauge. I just have it sitting here loose. I'm gonna figure out a little place to mount it, but this one's in bar. So I am gonna go and get one in PSI, probably like a glow shift gauge or something. And then I'll probably just buy a little pillar mount or a vent mount for it or something. The one thing that I think is gonna happen, I think the steering wheel is gonna be crooked. And I think the steering wheel is gonna vibrate because these wheels came off of a car that was written off. So I doubt they're balanced. All right, let's go boys. I'm excited. This is scary. All right, we're at 50 now. 70, 80. Wheel's not shaking yet. There's 100. Fifth gear. We're cruising, boys. This is sick. And the steering wheel's pretty straight. Oh my God. This car feels like an absolute boat. Steering wheel's a little bit off to the right, but we'll fix that when we do a wheel alignment. I don't think it's an issue with the way the steering wheel's mounted because we're pretty close to straight. Like that's less than a tooth off. If I took the steering wheel off and moved it a full tooth over, then the steering wheel would be turned to the left. So we're gonna leave it right where it is. This is sick, boys. We did it. We built the winner beater. All right, there is a really, really big bump on the way into a town called New Sarepta that I live close to. So we're gonna go hit that and see if this thing rides as rough as everybody says race lines are. Oh yeah, word, let's see if the signals cancel out when I turn this corner on their own. Got a right signal on right now. Hey, it canceled itself out, sick. Okay, let's see who we hit for boost in second gear. that noise I don't know 0.8 of a bar it must have a boost leak somewhere or something okay big bump big bump they're not bad actually I think we rubbed that right front quarter panel a little bit it's a little sus that she's only hitting 0.8 bar of boost but I also don't know what these WX's run for factory boost Cold air intake sounds so good, but we gotta take this thing off. I wanna try and bang some gears in this thing. Even though we don't have the AFR sensor, that could also be why this thing's not hitting peak boost. Because when you don't have your AFR sensor plugged in, your car basically goes into a default rich mode just to protect the engine so that it doesn't lean out or anything. So because we don't have that AFR sensor, I don't wanna be beating on this thing too hard. I'll do a couple pulls, but like I said, that could be why we're not hitting peak boost. Like that's to the floor. And that was about 0.8 pounds of boost. Ooh, let's see how rough this is. Honestly, not bad. I don't mind these coils. They're pretty soft, actually. All right, let's see if we can kick her a little sideways here, boys. Oh, she's a little ripper. 
Whatever. Okay, let's hold the boost gauge in the left hand. Let's do a pull and shift with my right hand. Let's see what we hit for boost. She's good to go though, boys. There is nothing more fun than freaking all wheel drive in the winter. This car knocks the Civic out of the water. It's not even close. This is so much better to drive. Back on the highway, baby. Right after I say I'm not gonna beat on it, I just rip it in first gear onto the highway. Ooh, I didn't test and see if the cruise control works yet. Oh, did it work? I think it worked. My foot's off the gas pedal. She's cruising at 100 kilometers an hour. This thing's freaking luxury, boys. We got cruise control. I am so hyped right now. This is sick. My wipers work? Yes, sir. Do my sprayers work? Yes, sir. Oh, God. Oh, God, I can't see anything. That was such a bad idea. I think this is summer washer fluid, and now it's all frozen, and I can't see shit. Okay, I'm happy with how she drives. Let's go back to the house, check the coolant and the oil, make sure our head gasket job was good, and then let's go slide her around with the little bit of sunlight that we have left. Oh, boys, I found our issue on what was making noise when we were driving. That mud flap is rubbing on the ground. Oh, there's so many rocks. She's too dirt nasty low, boys. Over time, that mud flap will wear down and then she won't rub on the ground anymore. All right, I just popped the hood after a drive for the first time popping a hood after a drive since last time we were sliding this thing around in the gravel and I smelled coolant hardcore. And now I don't smell any coolant. It just smells like a nice hot engine. And our coolant looks nice and clean and it's full. So all I'm gonna do is just go grab a rag. I just wanna check the oil real quick and then we're gonna go slide this thing around. So let's have some fun with it. Oh boy, she's mint. Sorry, Dad, I kind of messed up the driveway. driving today.
isn't gonna beat on this car. I just beat on this car and the road. This road is destroyed. Okay, it is like minus 10 outside right now or minus 15. Really, really nice day today for Alberta. We got the fans kicking in on the WRX. That's how much we've been beating on this thing. And we freaking destroyed this road. I gotta get used to hooning all-wheel drive in the winter again. It's been a minute. Oh, this car is honestly so sick. I'm so happy with how this thing turned out. Okay, we made it back home and we have a little bit of a problem already. We already broke it, boys. There's kind of fluid all over the place. Like the whole engine block, I can see fluid down there. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm pretty sure this power steering pump blew up. There's power steering fluid everywhere. And this fluid is definitely lower than when I left. There's power steering fluid all over the alternator, all over the front timing cover. Oh shit, boys. We got good news though. I got a spare power steering pump for this thing. So we might have to swap that out. Okay, here is our spare power steering pump. I think it is pissing right out of that plug on the bottom there. I don't really know what that is or how it could be leaking out of there. If there's like a crush washer or something behind it. But this black plug right next to my thumb, I think it is pissing all over the place from there. I just moved the WRX over next to the Civic. And as soon as I move it, I see what's on the ground. There is power steering fluid drops everywhere. So that's definitely that power steering pump that's leaking because the fact that it's all over the place means that that pulley is spinning and the oil's getting on the pulley and it is just throwing oil all over the engine bay. So luckily I got a spare power steering pump for this thing, but that's where I'm gonna end this video. Next video, we'll get the power steering pump and the stock intake swapped onto this thing. And hopefully after that, she's 100%, but we'll see. Peace out, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so hyped that we took this thing on its first drive. I'll catch you in the next one.